Let's shoot. You ready? Yes. Hi guys, I'm here with the director of Michael Jackson Searching for Neverland. Can you please tell them your name for us? Diane Houston. Now I admire this woman so much and I will tell you why. Okay. Because you wrote some of my favorite things I've watched. Take It the Lead is my favorite oh, movie. Really? It's like I learned the choreography. I was on that type of person growing up where I wanted to learn the choreography of this movie. I wanted to be one of these students because dance is so important. Did you learn the tango? I did. My favorite was the salsa and the waltz. The waltz and the salsa were like my favorite because it's like the hip hop and salsa was very like awesome. And you had Sonny Banderas, you had Yaya Da Costa, you had all these amazing talent. And you have another movie with Michael Jackson. He is no matter what generation, you always connect with Michael Jackson. Totally. You can't you can't listen to his music and never connect with him. No. What made you want to be a part of this project? Two things. Three things. First, it's a chance to tell a love story, meaning a, a loving story about Michael. It's an amazing script by Elizabeth Hunter, you know, and Suzanne DePass is producing. Suzanne DePass, without whom that we would not have Michael Jackson. So those three things coming together, the timing was right, we found Navi, Navi made it whole, it's just perfect. It's a perfect synergy of, of events and, and people and energies, it was awesome. What is your, the most memorable Michael Jackson moment you've had? <laughs> Michael Jackson moment meaning on the set? No, meaning you, like you're, you're the original Michael Jackson, like in his, in his career, your memorable, your most memorable. My most memorable Michael Jackson moment, I think is when I met him, and we just connected and had a great conversation and decided that one day we would try to do something together. And uh, it took a long time, but here we are. Okay. Here we are, and I know this is going to be such an amazing movie. What is your favorite Michael Jackson song? Human Nature. Thanks, Bob. Human Nature? Yeah. Well, they also like Dirty Diana. Depends on yeah, my mood. That is, that, Dirty Diana, that's going to always be my favorite. I don't know what it is about Dirty Diana, but... It's just wrong. Right? It's, right. it's so wrong, but it's right. It's so right. It's so right. <laughs> It were they pranks on set? Like, I also like Man in the Mirror, but don't get me started. There's so many of them. You, yeah. like, it's like really like hard to pin down the favorite because you have so many. Yeah, oh yeah. Absolutely. Were well, there any pranks that happened on set between oh like, the cast members or even you participated in? Huge pranks. They played a prank on me. They played a prank on you. We were shooting a scene where Michael, in the, in the movie, mm -hmm. first meets uh, Dr. Conrad Murray, which is when his daughter, Paris, is very sick and Conrad Murray is called in just as a doctor to come to the house. Michael doesn't know him, nobody knows him. Okay, so in the scene, Conrad Murray steps in and says, good evening, I'm Dr. Conrad Murray. And what Michael is supposed to do, according to the blocking, is shake his hand and then lead him back to introduce him to the daughter. But no, I call action. The actor comes in and says, hello, I'm Dr. Conrad Murray. Navi screams and jumps under the bed. Tegan, who's playing Paris, throws the covers up over her head. <laughs> Nandu, who is playing the nanny, dives under a pillow. And I'm like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> that is the best. I know you're not feeling at the time, but that's such a great story. It was hilarious. We could not stop laughing. It was, I mean, but stuff happened all the time. Another one of my favorite times is we had staged a water gun fight, and I determined it wasn't enough so I gave some tips to people as to who to shoot and we completely ganged up I mean it was just it was slaughter it was slaughter you know total slaughter thank you so much for talking with us we can't wait for this movie to come out and we're so grateful that you directed and see your vision thank you